Good, happy Sunday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Politics with Riley King. Let's begin. Chuck Morris says next term would be his last as Senate President. Salem Republican says if elected this year, he does not intend to seek leadership post in 2020. Chuck Moores says he does not intend to be New Hampshire State Senate President forever because he feels it should not be a lifetime position. In an interview Friday, the Salem Republican discussed a message he delivered earlier in the week to dozens of supporters who attended a Concord fundraiser for his upcoming Senate re-election bid. He said that if he is honored as with another term in the Senate and as Senate President, he attends for that term to be his last leading the Senate. Criminal justice law brings reform, also more regulations and costs. Hailed as the most comprehensive overhaul of the state's criminal justice system in decades, the bill that became law with Republican Governor Charlie Baker's signature this month also comes with an uncertain price tag, adds new layers of bureaucracy, and leaves many complex issues to feature study. EPA Chief Prout met with lobbyists whose wife returned him a room. EPA Administrator Scott held a meeting with lobbyists during the time last year that his wife was renting him a room, a spokesman for Hart has confirmed to CNN. Meet the prosecutor who could be Mueller's closer. Let's take a listen to the video from ABC News. That's why we create aura. From phone to frame, easily, naturally, elegantly. The Mueller probe, have you concluded that it's not worth the political fallout to remove either Special Counsel Mueller or Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein? Jennifer, I can say this, that uh, there was no collusion, and that's been so found, as you know, by the House Intelligence Committee. There's no collusion. There was no collusion with Russia other than by the Democrats, or as I call them, the obstructionists, because they truly are obstructionists. So uh, we are uh, giving tremendous amounts of paper. This was a uh, really a hoax created largely by the Democrats as a way of uh, softening the blow of a loss, which is a loss that, frankly, they shouldn't have had from the standpoint that it's very easy for them to have a tremendous advantage in the Electoral College. 
and this is what it is, and this is where it came from. Uh, you look at the kind of money that was paid. Probably some went to Russia. You look at Podesta having a company in Russia where nothing happened and people don't talk about it. You look at the fact that their server, the DNC server, was never gotten by the FBI. Why did the FBI take it? The FBI takes what they want. They go in, they wouldn't get the server. This is a hoax. As far as the investigation, nobody has ever been more transparent than I have instructed our lawyers be totally transparent. I believe we've given them 1.4 million pages of documents, if you can believe this, and haven't used, that I know of, or for the most part, presidential powers or privilege. So we are hopefully coming to the end. It, it is a bad thing for our country, very, very bad thing for our country. But there has been no collusion. They won't find any collusion. It doesn't exist. Uh, as far as uh, the two gentlemen you told me about, uh, they've been saying, I'm going to get rid of them for the last three months, four months, five months. And uh, they're still here. So we want to get the investigation over with, done with, put it behind us. And we have to get back to business with negotiating with this gentleman and plenty of others. But this gentleman is a very tough negotiator, and we have to focus on that. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And yeah, that does it for this edition of Politics with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Politics with Riley King. Have a great rest of your Sunday, everyone. I'll see you back here next Sunday for another edition of Politics with Riley King. And have a great week ahead as well. Goodbye, everyone.